for me, it's it's something that I really enjoy. I go out in the mornings with my cup of coffee, and I pick my flowers. I'm weeding. I'm digging in the dirt, and I just it's it's a very relaxing feeling for me. <laughs> the garden. It, it may sound cheesy to say this, but it's my zen. It's it's how I can go. I go out in the morning, and I just feel good. And it, makes me it wakes me up and it's actually made me a more relaxed person I started growing them because my clients wanted them and that's what really kind of took off with the floral garden and why urban dahlia exists because I kind of got addicted to dahlias <laughs> so the urban dahlia it, is a sister company of Mocha Rose Floral Designs. Mocha Rose Floral De Designs will always focus on high-end events, weddings, corporate. Urban Dahlia is kind of a company that I started by accident. And it's just because I started growing too many things that every week I had leftover flowers. Um, the more I cut my flowers, the more blooms I get. So because my garden kept expanding and I had so many flowers left over, um, I decided to create a company. And what it is, is it will be a flower CSA, so Community Supported Agriculture. I'm just inspired by the flowers. It's something I really enjoy. And to be honest, I enjoy it so much that I'm spending so much of my personal time doing it. I have a business that it meshes well with, with the Mocha Rose. The Dahlia is something that's also changing the way I sell flowers to clients. It's a flower that was so delicate that I tried to talk clients away from because I hated working with it. It would always come in bruised. It wouldn't have a good base life. So I actually started looking into other farms in the Pittsburgh area that grow dahlias, and I found several, and they're actually really big. But it's the dahlia has made me reach out and become more local to grow more flowers myself um, and not rely on a trade that's a global trade. I've never been one to be Everybody needs to go green, but I do try to operate my business in an eco-sensitive way. We compost all of our floral and green waste, we recycle everything we can. Um, so I never thought here I'd be saying I am a green company and looking for local um, sources, but here I am doing that because I'm growing it myself. One thing about growing this and meeting the farmers and learning is I am encouraging my clients. They might not even know I'm doing it, but because I used to talk them out of dahlias and now I'm encouraging them, hey, dahlias are beautiful and I'm showing them what a dahlia is. Everybody's getting really excited about dahlias. So we sold a lot of dahlias next year to our event clients. <laughs> I, I feel weird being put on the spot, but <laughs> that's great. I'm just awkward. Yeah.